Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pull Whisper for October 30th, 2019, and it could be a spooky day. We have the big FOMC meeting. What are they going to do about the rates? What is the market going to do? Let's not try to guess. Let's just trade it. Okay, remember, usually it has a three-point move when it happens. You go up, down, up or down, up, down. It's so usually it could be anywhere between five to 15 minutes for each move, depending, it varies, but you'll know. All right, so be patient um, and watch it. Okay, so we had a dark pool level yesterday, a new one on the SPY. It wasn't the biggest level. I mean, we had that 20 million level at 301.09, and we had about a six million level yesterday at 303.36 and you can see we are hovering right in that level so here's how i'm going to play it if after the fomc meeting like right near the end of the day if we close strong above that that is bullish if we close weak below it that is bearish and my ultimate target on the bear side is 324 cents. You guys in the Java pit, you know why we like that level. All right, but again, if it's bullish and starts to go up, 305 is my ultimate target on the upside. Let's go to the E-minis. The E-minis, we're going to be bullish above 3038. And look, we went right there and pulled back. We're going to be bearish below 30. 30 for the e-minis you know crazy but this morning first time ever the russell somebody forgot to wake up specialist <laughs> there's no volume six thousand first time i think ever so we're not going to trade that today because we don't know where the big guys are loaded even like the cues took a long time to get volume coming in but we will be bullish above 196.75 and bearish below one 96. Let's go to the NASDAQ futures. We're going to be bullish above 80.60. And uh, we did rip up there already. Uh, bearish below 80.45. That's our bear level. We'll go to the Dow minis. We're going to be bullish above 27.050. We went to 27.049. Just one shy. That's a big level. Uh, we'll be bearish below 27,000. And you see how they came down here and hit, this is for uh, boot campers, been teaching them just how powerful these two moving averages are, the 200 simple and the 200 exponential on a five minute chart. It is phenomenal. We came right down to it. There's two algos loaded to buy there. So if you don't have those on your chart, they are so good. In fact, look what AMD did this morning. Right, it went right up to them and crashed down. And the 50 is also one of my favorites on a five minute. So that's the uh, Russell. Let's go to the oil futures. We're gonna be bullish above 55.60 and bearish below 55.30. Just had a big move, hold on a minute. Let me bring them over here. And look at this, hold on. All right, so we came down and look where we went down to, that Camarilla Pivot Boss. It is phenomenal. So yeah, this trade uh, started happening already. Uh, we are below this trend line right now. Let me show you my weekly. Yeah, this guy right here, we could move on down to about 54 if we hold below this area. Let's see something. All right, uh, but I will be bullish if we break above uh, 55, 60, this area right here. Actually, this bigger surge of volume. I was using this surge this morning, but you can see that this guy is much bigger. <laughs> we can all see that this is much bigger than this one, right? So we're gonna go with this level now. I would, yeah, be only bullish above 55, 75 right now for oil futures, okay? Yeah, you have to always go with the volume and then bearish obviously below this Camarilla. So if we go above here, and if we go below here, 
at this moment. Okay. Let's go to the uh, the gold futures. Yeah, gold should have a move with the Fed meeting today. Uh, we are going to be bullish above 1,500. Yeah, I'm giving it a little bit of room. That 1,500 is big. Let me show you this chart. Daily chart. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of moving averages just above us, you can see. They're all, yeah, all those guys are gonna sell. Gotta break through that wall. If it does, there's a trade right here, but obviously this is the biggest trade, and then there's a trade going down there for gold futures. All right, so bearish below 1490. Now that would be below the pivot going down. All right, let me put these back, and let's go to the individual stocks. AMD had earnings in it's been all over the map. It went down, it went up. Right now, look, we're stuck in between the four and the eight. That's like the worst place to trade. All right, yeah, that's awful. Moving average ping pong. We're gonna be bullish above 33.25. Yeah, I wanna clear these two guys, these two moving averages. Yep, so 33.25. And I'm gonna be bearish below 32 for AMD. Let's go to GE. GE, we're going to be bullish. Oops, that's not GE. GE. Yeah, we're going to be bullish above 980. I did see a seller on the book at 977. That's exactly where we're at right now. Let's see if he's refreshing. Let's see if he comes back. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. For 1,000, um, wait, it is trading there. Oh, it's trading on the Arca, that's weird. Okay, it's trading at 78 now. Yeah, I didn't see the guy on there. There he is, see, he came back, ah, he's flashing. Yeah, that 977, there was a guy loaded to sell. And the reason is it's at this upper trend line. Yep, resistance. Yep, see, he came back again. So cool, that's refreshing. Let's see how much more, yep, there he is again on edgex let's see which book he comes back next time yeah it's key that's why i'm bullish above 980. yeah after the first 10 minutes if it can break above that 980 yeah really a close a close above this trend line key 10 is the next big level yeah that, that would be my t-spot if we could do that then i could see this trade if not we could go back down to the bottom of this wedge but yeah, watch that 977 guy is sneaky. Look, he keeps coming back there. See that guy's in boot camp? I'm teaching uh, boot camp this week, and that is a great lesson. You think it's Kramer? <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, that's why. But what's cool is that we actually saw him on the book, right? So we wrote that down, seller at 977, and then we see him doing that. That's awesome. Priceless. All right. Okay. Seeing is believing. So Fiat Chrysler Automobiles had a massive print yesterday. Three million and holy cow, this thing took off. Yep, 1307 was the print. Somebody, somebody got in at the bottom. So we are going to be bullish above 1440 today. And bearish below 1380, that's just a retracement trade. You know, if we were to go below here to go down to the eight. Yeah, if not, uh, good trade. But just watch this 250 exponential. I'm simple, sorry, 250 simple. Yeah, there, there should be computers loaded to sell at about 1450. And then of course, if it can break above that, there's nothing but blue skies up ahead. Let's go to beyond. Yeah, beyond. Inverted hammer at the bottom of a trend. It looks like seller's exhaustion. Yep, everybody sold yesterday. That's right, the lockout period is over. Could be a good time to buy. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so we have a candle that's bullish at the bottom. We have sellers exhaust too much volume. Yeah, is no good, right? You wanna see volume accelerating. 
Uh, but when it's up to the top here, they're usually exhausted. There's no more sellers. But we're going to watch these levels. So bullish above 85, that's a really key level, $5 increment. Yep. If it can break above that, we could have a retracement to the 4 EMA. Um, I will be bearish below 82.50, though, or 82, that level. Yeah, we already went down and hit the 82 first target. Yeah, so watch for the next test of 82. Yep, if it goes down there and breaks below that, that's a good entry for beyond on the short side. So I'll be prepared on both sides. Let's go to PCG, Pacific Gas. Getting a lift. It was funny. The other day, my traders asked if we were going to trade this stock, put it on the whisper. And I said, well, I don't do stocks under $5, right? And look at that. It's above 5 today. So we could do it. Bullish above 620 and bearish below 550 for PCG. It's a little crazy. Uh, let's see DB. We're going to be bullish above 762 for retracement. In fact, let me just put that here. Yeah, when I put retracement, we're going against the trend, so I'm not uber bullish. It's just an anti-trend trade. Uh, bearish below 740. Let's go to GLD. GLD, we have uh, the, that meeting coming in in the afternoon. Sometimes we get a big move beforehand, uh, a fake out usually, head fake. The true move is going to happen after the meeting. So after that three-point move, again, how we close is going to be so important. Um, so these are key levels, bullish above 140, 125, and bearish below 140. So sometimes it could happen before. If not, watch these levels later on. Also remember those massive levels on IAU, 1437. Okay, so that's really key. If we close above that, that would be bullish today. Uh, if we close below 1412, that'll be bearish for IAU. Tesla. Tesla had a really nice pullback to the 4 EMA. So is it going to bounce up above now or is it going to come down to the 8? So I, I love when they are right on the four. It's an easy trade. So bullish above 316 and bearish below 312. We'll see if it does go below the uh, 4 EMA. XLF, so it does not have any volume yet this morning, but this is gonna be a mover with the Fed meeting. We had a big print yesterday, $29, 1.5 million. That's that wick right at the top. If we do go above that, that's going to be bullish. However, bearish below 28.75. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. You may want to trade other bank stocks. Bank of America. Oh, volume is starting to come into Bank of America. So you know what? Let me add this. Let's do a whisper right now. Okay, BAC. We're going to be bullish above 32.25. Hold on one second. I just want to look up the pivots. Make sure I'm not. Okay, so bullish above 32.25. My target's going to be 32.34 uh, because that is R2. And then I'm going to have 32.50. And we'll be bearish, bearish below 31.87. Yeah, I want to go below this four EMA, and that's an eighth. And so the bear trade would be pretty much going down to here. Target 31.75 and 31.50. Actually, 31.68 is a person's S2 level, and then 31.50, and 31.38 is S3, just in case. We could get some wild moves today, um, but this would be a retracement. Let me just write this in. Retracement to the uh, 8 EMA. All right, there we go. So there you have it, a live whisper. 
Yeah, it just didn't have volume earlier, so I didn't want to do it, but I prefer to trade Bank of America over XLF. It moves better. And let me just copy and paste this. Hold on one second. One more second. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We got TLT. TLT is also going to be a big mover into the meeting, so bullish above 138 and bearish below 136.80. All right, watch that. The print we got recently was 137.22. And let's go to Grub. Getting killed. Grub, we're going to be bullish above 33 for a retracement, okay, to about this 35 level, 34.87. And bearish below $30.87. There you have it. Those are your whispers. Until next time, happy trading. No thinking, that's my secret. I gotta keep it my secret. My secret.